Minecraft is getting skill-based matchmaking and boots in its upcoming 10.40 update. Epic Games said in a blog post that the update will come with improved matchmaking logic to Battle Royal Core modes to create favor matches. This means the players with similar skills will be matched. Boats will also be added, which will behave similarly to normal players, and will help provide a better path for players to grow in skill. These boots won't be present in competitive playlists. Gangho Entertainment has announced the PC release date for the HD remasters of JRPGs Grandia 1 and Grandia 2. The games will be available via Steam starting October 15th, and the games will be released as separate games. Unlike for Switch, which were released as a bundle, the PC remasters will feature English and Japanese audio, enhanced texture and art, improvements on the user interface, widescreen support, and customizable resolutions. Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville will feature a new 4 vs. 4 multiplayer mode called Battle Arena. In this mode, players will be split into two teams and must achieve 4 victories in order to win. Players will choose a character to play, however, in the succeeding rounds, they will not be allowed to choose the character they have previously used. The mode will first be available on October, a first for players who will purchase the Founders Pack. Everyone else will get to play it when the game launches on October 18th. Star Wars Battlefront 2's cooperation update is set to launch on September 25th, and it brings a couple of new game modes among other additions. The two game modes are Instant Action and Coop. Both are centered on Clone Wars. In Instant Action, players will battle against large-scale all-controlled forces, and is played offline. Co-op, on the other hand, is an objective-based mode and supports up to four players. Call of Duty Black Ops 4 has rolled out a huge update called Co or Operation Dark Divide. This update refreshes the Blackout map for a new vehicle-focused mode called Heavy Metal Heroes. This mode will have players jump into vehicles such as armored Arabs, ATVs, and motorcycles. A tank has also been added which can be used in Heavy Metal Heroes as well. Players can either find it on the map or use a flare gun to call it to their location. The tank can decimate anyone on its way and supports one driver and a passenger in the gunner. Of 
Ubisoft has revealed they have spent four years making Watch Dogs Legion's technology which allows the players to control any NPC in the game. Associate producer Shelly Jensen said in an interview that there is no limit as to how many NPCs players want to control. Jensen said these NPCs are procedurally generated and they spent four years just building the technology. The work included creating census data, animation, faces, character keys, and much more for each one. No shame in that. Anyone got Sue's number? Luckily, our city is filled with millions of people, and any single one of them could be your next recruit. You're doing good. I'm doing great. London's calling. Get out there and take it back. Sony has committed into taking care of the environment through UN supplying for the Planet Initiative. With this partnership in place, Sony promised that the PlayStation 5 will be more energy efficient as it will be able to suspend gameplay with a lower power consumption. For every 1 million F or PS5 users who enable this feature, the electricity saved could power up to 1,000 homes. Sony also committed into conducting a carbon footprint assessment for its gaming services and will be looking into energy efficient measures in its data centers. Classic Metroidvania exploration game, Outbodies just received its release date for PC. It will be launching on October 15th on Steam, while its Switch, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4 versions will follow in Q1 2020. Outbodies was developed by German solo developer Julian Laufer and is published by Head Up. The game features non-linear Metroidvania gameplay, five distinct areas with puzzles and environment hazards epic bosses and local co The Long Dark is celebrating its fifth anniversary with a new episode. Episode 3, Crossroads, LG will be launching on Steam, PS4, and Xbox One on October 22nd. Players will take the role of Dr. Astrid Greenwood and the events in the story picks up from the aftermath of the events of Milton in Episode 1. There will be new survivors to meet, a new region to explore, and more answers to the events prior to. And after the first flare event that engulfed Great Bear Island into the long dark. The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening is now the best Nintendo Switch launch of 2018 so far in the UK. According to the latest data of GameIndustry.biz, the launch of Link's Awakening has also surprised that of Super Mario Maker, or Super Mario Maker, which also launched earlier this year. Link's Awakening has also that round. Borderlands 3 is the best-selling game in the UK for the past week. Borderlands 3 now is at number 2 just a week after it enjoyed a strong debut.
WB Games Montreal has released another teaser on its Twitter account. This time, the teaser includes a clearer version of the images that flashed on screen on its previous teaser with a caption that reads, Capture Denied. Those who responded to the tweet said the symbols could be referring to Court of Oaths, which was a criminal organization introduced back in 2011 in the Batman Volume 2 series. It's time for the best list once again for the free game What We Have is a strategy action game from M Plus Loop Studios, which is Survivor Squad. And for our prize drops for today, we have for you an action, adventure, and stealth game. As you since the create and a racing game, Track Mania Till Lagoon and the best scout for the day is from the action role playing game, Genera Wishes God Eater to Rage Burst. Go visit in our details page here with alkyshop.com and take advantage of these great deals. A tweet recently surfaced from an Apornas interactive official Twitter account hinting at further announcements, reveals, and releases. Many speculate the developer is teasing the announcement of a release date for its action adventure game Watton. Fans reckon that the next state of play stream for PlayStation would be an ideal platform to divulge any potential end curve. Now, in any case, the title is yet to be tagged with an official release date, but we do know it will be released for PlayStation 4 as well as on PC. Code Venue has released a brand new material um, trailer for Guts and Ghosts, which is ahead of its release later this year. It is marketed as an arcade game unlike anything you have ever seen. Its uniqueness stems for the fact that it is an amalgamation of soccer and cricket, which are two sports that seldom exist on the same plane. And the trailer showcases some gameplay footage of blocky, pixelated characters on a 2D soccer field, smacking everything within smacking distance with a cricket bat, whether it be the ball or another player. Gunfire Games is pleased to announce that Remnant from Ashes has secured a spot on Steam's August bestseller list. The list features the top 20 game releases of August based on the revenue they generated during the first two weeks of release. Though it is not at the apex of the chart, it is still a great accomplishment having missed the top 10 by just one slot. Remnant from Ashes is currently available for the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, as well as on PC.
World of Warcraft is poised to receive a new update that introduces gigantic bees that you can add to your mount collection. This new mount will appear as a giant honeybee with a throne and honey spot on its back called the Honeyback Harvester. Soon you will meet a beekeeper called Barry who will help you track the harvester and you will also be able to earn some sweet rewards should you gain the Hive Mother's favor. This new content is the G out that's within a few weeks. Gongho Online Entertainment America has announced that the H3 Master for Grandia 2 is scheduled for release on the 15th of next month. You can queue a mini celebration if you already own the game, as that means that this H3 Master will be available as a free update for you. The H3 Master will feature enhanced details to the game's UI, sprites, and texture art, visually enhanced original cinematic videos, while widescreen support and customizable resolutions. Wilson C has announced that a brand new demo for his first person shooter, Trapping 2, will be soon available on Steam. The developer says this demo will feature a prologue mission with some fun extras as well as a full body dismemberment system. What this means is that the torso of enemies can be dismantled and head and limbs once severed can be even further broken into smaller bits. All these and more is demonstrated in trailers posted on Trapping 2's YouTube channel. Ubisoft has released further year one post launch details. That's for Tom Clancy's Ghost Broken Breakpoint, and previously, the developer had vaguely divulged some of what potential players can expect when the game releases, but now the fans have documented details of the promised content. You can view the full details on the game's official website. Tom Clancy's Ghost Broken Breakpoint will be released on October 4th on the PS4, Xbox One, and PC, as well as the Google Stadia gaming platform. Developer Deck 13 and publisher Focus Home Interactive are happy to announce that their hardcore action role-playing game called The Search 2 has launched. Along with that is a launch trailer for the gaming feature, the limb chopping gameplay, and a post-apocalyptic location to explore. The game is available to play for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. The sequel is a great game overhaul or overall, having an amazing standalone storyline as well as a magnificent gameplay.
Developer Infuse Studio has announced their new game called Spirit of the North, and it is a game that has beautiful panoramic scenery inspired by the stunning landscape of Iceland. This is a third-person adventure where you play the role of a fox in a mystic world and players will get to explore glacial caves and rich pastures while solving some puzzles. Spirit of the North will be launching on November 1, 2019. That's gonna be for PlayStation 4 as a time exclusive game. Afterward, it will be available for PC and on Xbox One. Veridix was able to reveal that a new character will be added to the CD of Final Fantasy NT. The character is a Final Fantasy XII antagonist, which is named Gabrin. The character will come with his usual appearance as well as donning his Imperial Judge armor. He will be arriving on October 10 for the PC and PlayStation 4 versions of the CD NT. Gabrin will still be voiced by Akio Utsuka, who was the same voice actor for the character with the very first CD game that is on a PSP. Ending Extinction is forever as a side-scrolling 3D survival adventure video game from developer Spanish Hero Beat Studios. It is about a mother fox looking for a safe haven for her and her three cubs and this is a time where the earth has been ravaged and there is barely enough food to survive nor is there a proper shelter. Players must avoid hunters and generally overcome all the dangers that will come their way. Ending Extinction is forever is set to launch that's gonna be by 2021 for PC, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, as well as on Switch. It's time for the best deals once again. For the free game, what we have is a strategy action game from Endless Loop Studios, which is Survivor Squad. And for our price drop for today, we have for you an action adventure and stole game Assassin's Creed and racing game, Truck Mania 2 Lagoon. The best discount for today is from Action, role-playing game genre, which has got here to Rage Burst. Go and visit our daily deals page here at allkeyshop.com and take advantage of these great deals.